Hello, everybody, and hey, don't jump over my campfire. What the hell? Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of the Darkness Falls series. And in today's episode, I have to deal with a bit of a horde problem that I apparently left for myself when I stopped playing prior. So, I guess we're starting out with a bit of a sequence of violence. <laughs> Finally on the last dredges of that little murder tirade. <laughs> there was a lot of them. I guess that's what a wandering horde looks like now. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. If that had made its way, that little horde. If it had made its way into my little bunker down there while I was still mining without it being set up, that would have been terrible. Truly terrible. So let's try and avoid anything like that occurring. Probably be good for everyone, including the zombies. I'm sure I would have at least taken a few with me. During the menagerie of murder there, I managed to find a potato and some yucca, and so we're gonna have ourselves a nice little lunch. Because we've now got our system for water with the nearby water sources and our bowls of clay, that's taken care of. However, we're kind of lacking in the food department. It's going to take a little bit for those apple trees that I planted to, well, grow. It would be nice if they could grow faster, but I don't have the proper class to make that kind of thing happen. I also don't remember exactly where I planted them. I'm sure we'll see it once they appear or begin growing. But as far as I know, it takes at least three days for them to actually start growing. Because they're good. They're very good. Go ahead and turn this off. I mean, I could make orange slices. I don't have any other purpose for oranges. So, sure, I guess we'll do that. We'll do another inventory clear, and... We'll go ahead and do an inventory clear, and then make our way to the trader. I don't want to have to keep jumping up this, so I'm going to set up stairs. Just seems like the proper thing to do. Give the zombies a nice, easy way to me. Reduce the odds that they'll just randomly attack the blocks, too. Because they can do that, and it's annoying. I also realized during the previous episode, the tirade underground, that trying to... Uh, you know what, I should plant some trees around me at some point. Just not right now. Trying to go through stone without a actual pickaxe of some sort, trying to use the stone ass in this, in compared to vanilla, is so much worse. I, it, it takes far too long to destroy a stone block. Far too long. So we probably will avoid doing that. My goal for today is to get a pickaxe so that my nighttime tirades underneath the first layer of earth is much more fruitful. That is the objective, always. I'm not sure what my mining skill has gotten up to, but I think it's past 20 at this point. I'm pretty sure during the previous episode I got it to 20 something odd. Yes, we're at 23. So we've got a little bit more to go, but nothing too crazy. I've also got quite a batch of skill points if you saw there. I've got seven just rocking around. Now don't be deceived if you're playing Darkness Falls yourself. Unless you've got 10 or 20 skill points, you're really not rocking a high amount. That can go away very quickly. The second one of your skills hits one of the milestones, like 20 or 40, like, if my athletics were to hit 40 right now, I would be out of skill points, because I have things to invest in. Or if I really wanted to, I could increase the efficiency at which I can mine and collect things by putting points into the, where is it, right here, tool crafting skill. This would allow me to craft tier 11, well, we'll just say 10. 20, 40, oh no, sorry, 10, 20, 30. It just goes up 10 with each point invested. And you know what? I actually might do that. That's a good idea. I'm going to be mining a lot because this is me and I'm not fooling anybody. Two points into that. Then we're going to go ahead and get rid of the stone ass. Make ourselves a single sharp rock so that we can make the stone ass. There we go. Nice. Tier 21. And it appears to be doing roughly 8 more block damage per hit. And this also means that if I go to repair it, it will stay above tier 21, which is good. Let's go ahead and grab this, and we're gonna go ahead and... Oh wait, no, I was supposed to put things in a chest. I'm so easily distracted. If you look at my hotbar, I have a bunch of things that just do not need to be there. Like antibiotics and blueberry seeds. Alright, that's what I was trying to do. Upgrade these stairs. There we go. Let's go ahead and dump some things, like these shotgun shells. They're not gonna get any use right now. This iron, probably not gonna get use either. That... 
sewing kits, gunpowder, here we are, steel, antibiotics, blueberries, land claim block, I guess I could just put that down now, doesn't matter where really, these things are actually insanely tough, so even if the zombies attack them, it won't really matter, let's go and just set up some stairs here, so I can give a little hop, put it right up here, right on the corner, yeah, that's the stuff, and now, that gives our hotbar, let's put these nails in here too, that gives our hotbar more space, eventually it will be filled with useful things, like, well, not what I'm putting here right now. But for now, I'll be putting a handful of basic resources that are commonly used so that I know when I'm about to run out. That's the best I can think of. Clay bowls also doesn't hurt. And that'll do for now. That'll clear up some of the carry weight issues that we've been having. Only some of. It's going to be a constant until we get a much higher level. Let's see. Dried orange slices. Oh, I see. It produces them en masse, but you... Oh no, they only give you three food and you have to sit here and just mow on them. I feel like I lose three food in the time that I eat them, but okay. Anything for the nom noms. Got that munchies. Guess I could put these first aid kits on my hot bar as well. I've developed this terrible play style with a lot of habits based around the assumption that I just won't get hit. But if you... <laughs> If you've been watching my series, I actually tend to just take a lot of hits to the face. I just try not to do it with the stronger enemies. Let's see... The... Things that he's selling are staying the same. Well, I'll give one of your quests a try. Just freaking relax, Hugh. Jeez. 85 meters. That's pretty close by. So we'll go ahead and do one of these quests. We are lacking food. We're going to be hungry before the quest is up, but that's not too bad. Lacking water is far worse because it affects your stamina regeneration. Losing stamina regeneration during a quest is truly horrendous. Ooh, carrots. Yummy. What's up, fat man? How you doing? Oh, he's spitting at me. I forgot that they could do that. Well, you've got to go down, buddy. Oh, also, while we were doing that morning massacre, just getting that morning exercise in, I realized that I had ten. Oh, I've gotten more because of, well, you know, killing an entire horde. But I had ten. I invested one level into Blade Guy. Now that we've hit level 20 in bladed weapons, I can put another point in. So I will. I'm sure you've noticed it takes quite a batch of stamina just to swing this thing. But I think now that we're at three points invested, we don't have to worry about it. We can left click pretty frivolously. What's up, cowboy? Nothing much, huh? Who's over here? What are you doing in my water source? Get away from there. I don't care if you're here for a health inspection. Let's see. Is there anything on the outside here worth grabbing? We have coffee beans. I mean, sure, I guess. Works for me. I see a yucca as well. That's free food. Eight food, to be exact. Ah, so much better having these points invested. So I might actually... Oh, scavenging notes. Cool. Potato seed. Sure, I guess. I might actually... Take down this damn tree, because it's blurring my vision. Oh god, this is so slow. I need to get me some real stuff. I need leather. How can I get leather without having to run out and chase deer? Whoa. Hello, deer. Let's grab this yucca. Ooh, corn. Dead corn. Never mind. Normal corn. Yeah, I'll leave that one. I, I now know that it's not worth it to remove the visual clutter, but also lose, like, a full minute of my life. I guess it can stay. Let's fill my bowls while we're here, actually. Shouldn't be outside the quest area. Grab this and get out. Also, this is a snake. Why is there a snake? Can't hit the damn thing, because my machete's too short. There we go. Good snake. Ooh. I get hide from them? Really? I need more snakes. I'm gonna look around for snakes. They must be inside here. Now we need to speedrun this stuff. What's up, Bertha? I mean, Big Mama? I mean, whatever. One of the two. Pick your poison. Oh, these are unlocked. These. These should have leather. So that'll be good. I think I need ten or... Oh, there's another zombie right here. Sleeping on the job? Wait, she's in the kitchen. <laughs> Crystal notes and forge ahead. Unintentional, I swear. I swear. Now, would this be better with the machete? No? It looks like I'm just gonna have to sit here and ask this thing a question for a while. To hide. Okay, so I think if I finish this up, I might be able to craft my pickaxe. Far more important than the shovel, obviously. I'm pretty sure they want me to craft a scrap iron which really just requires hide and duct tape, but a scrap iron pickaxe and a scrap iron fire axe, wood cutting axe, uh, the, whatever the other kind of axe is. I'll figure it out when I go to craft it. But that means that I'm going to need to find a few more couches like this one. Huh, interesting. I, I should have been crouching for this little bit, but... I just got a mining level for this, which is pretty neat. I wonder if I can get belated weapon skills if I beat up couches or something with my knife. Is that a thing? Bag of trail mix. Ooh, free food. 
So it gave me good digestion as well. Efficient digestion. Very interesting. You know, I'll take that coal and I'll put it inside my campfire just so I can stop having to feed it wood. I tend to forget that it's on most of the time anyway. Scrap this. Check these cupboards. Mm -mm. Can of peas? Nah, I'm good. Yeast? Nope. Mess with that stuff another time. Let's go and collect this corpse. Oh, my knife. I mean, machete. Basically the same thing. It's just the knife's big brother in the animal kingdom. What's in the toilet? Murky water. Nice. Anything in here? Oh, it's out here. Is it really it? Is it this entire POI? I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Should I go up on the roof? Wait, how do you get to the second floor? Where are the stairs? Here? Stairs, stairs, stairs. Oh, here they are. Just packed in the corner. This looks like one of my bases. Now it really looks like one of my bases. It's a forge. Oh, crap. Nope. I'm good. Power attack. All power attacks. Don't want to deal with it. So it says there's still someone here in this POI that I have to deal with. Coffee beans. Neat. Oh, that's a safe. Uh-oh. I don't think I even want to take the time to collect it. I bet it's insanely slow with this current tool that I have. Crafting from the masters. Quicker crafting perk. Amazing. Let's see what it's in these other two bookshelves. Athletics. That's always good. Each of these books, like this one, Pistol Notes, if I read this, my pistol skill will increase by two points. Like it says at the bottom there, your skill in pistols has increased by two. Now it's gone. Oh no. This does exactly 10 damage per swing. So all I have to do is swing at this 500 times, which basically means I'm not going to swing at that. What's in this forge? Wood. Uh, interesting. Oh, there's another floor. Here we are. This must be the end of the POI. I see one zombie, just one little lumberjack. What are you doing up here? You must feel so out of place. There's no trees. It's all just air. Poor guy. I gotta put him out of his misery. It's living a lie. A lumberjack up on a roof in a crappy little... What is this? It's like a mini home. Go ahead and scrap this. Medical supplies? Aloe cream. I guess I'll just use it. I don't know. Like I can... Oh, bird's nest up here. Eat. Just jump. There we go. And now we'll walk ourselves down here. Wait, how did you get up there? Oh, the table. I guess that makes sense. You, uh, you stuck there, cowboy? All right, there you go. <laughs> I do love when they derp out. What do we have here? Pipe rifle and some 762. I mean, sure, maybe? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna bother. Not with a pipe rifle. Take the ammo, though. Definitely take the ammo. Now let's go ahead and make our way. Was that? Oh, no, that's chrysanthemum. I thought I saw more carrots. Hmm. <laughs> Carrots. I'll stop by the campfire and set more food to cook and then pay a visit to the trader. After reading that book, am I... No. I need one more level in athletics, which can be gotten from sprinting or sneaking. Pick your poison. But once we get that, that'll increase our stamina regeneration quite a bit. A good, sensible amount. Let's put the coal in here. Yeah, that's far more effective than just wood. Cook up some carrots, potatoes corn and yucca nice put some of this other stuff away and then trader time man i hope those apple trees grow soon could really use that cooking pots i don't know why i took these but they're mine now put these things in here i'll put the mushrooms away eventually i might put them down on the ground and start farming check some trash mm, trash let's take a peek over here oh we have a water source right next to our base actually Pretty interesting. So I'll have to remember that. Speaking of which, there is one more thing to queue up at the campfire, and it's this water. Bowls of water. Take that, and I guess the clean water too. I don't think there's a purpose to murky water, so we'll just maintain this as the status quo for now. And we'll do another quest with what we have now, and then come back to that stack of water. Darkness Falls is very interesting because it's quite easy to get food, but it's hard to get food while also efficiently doing other things. You have to manage it a bit, unlike in vanilla where you struggle a little bit in the first day basically, and then you find a way to get infinite food as soon as you find a seed. I think I could actually start a farm at my base at this point, but I want to do other things. There's more beneficial things to do. They keep tempting me with this armor. Advanced pistol, that could be good, but I don't have any 9mm ammo. I could store it for later. Or I could just take this mineral water and take the wellness. That'll help me a lot more. Let's see, a fetch 250 meters away. We'll do that. It's closer than the others. We'll go ahead and just drink this mineral water now for the wellness boost. We look at my health in the lower left, 104. And, well, I guess the health stayed the same because it doesn't go up with it. But if we look at my stamina, it's gone from 104 to 106. It increased by 2 wellness. Nope. Big Mama, what are you doing? You could have at least knocked. We would have let you right in. That two wellness is uh, pretty nice. I think the highest you can get is like 400 health or something. It's, it's pretty high up there. And that might sound ludicrous, but believe me, 
you need it. Let's get those tomatoes. Mmm, tomatoes, carrots, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Take a little trip around here. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and collect these apple trees. You can cook them up for- oh, no, hold on. Let's check this stump. These are lootable for whatever reason in Darkness Falls. Rain alcohol, don't care. These also don't care. Never mind. Don't want whatever you're selling. Who are you? Nobody. That's right. The proper answer. Ooh, you. You might have hide. I need you dead. Right now, chicken. I feel like I'm faster or the chickens are slower. I think Darkness Falls makes them slower. Okay, you got hide on you? No, just feathers. Damn. I'll have to remember that. No hide from the chickens. I was really hopeful. Ooh, here's another one. Chicken. Guess we're about to find out for sure if it's no hide. Yep, just feathers. I mean, that doesn't hurt either. Let's go ahead and get this apple tree. Hmm, apples. I suppose we can get the orange tree too. I just don't like them as much. Pumpkin seeds don't care. What's up? I need to lose your head over it. Go ahead and collect this. You know, I'm actually curious if I... Hmm, can I? Let me check. Can I craft a pickaxe? Axe. Scrap iron pickaxe. I need 10 leather, which I put in my chest. But I think I do have 10 leather. I just want to grab these apple trees, because it's free food, and I'd rather just not have to worry about it for a while. Because running between buildings doesn't usually get you too much food in Darkness Falls, at least in my experience. Maybe I just have bad luck. Bird's nest. Get them feathers. I'm trying to avoid crafting arrows, even though I want to spec into archery. Because I would very much prefer to make crossbow bolts. Alright, this should probably be enough of a tirade through the woods. We'll get that tree, and then that tree, and then I guess there's one right next to us, so we'll get that one too. There's magnum ammo inside this tree stump. You know, pretty standard issue. I don't understand that, but I'll take it. Get some more feathers. And eggs, I guess. Once I get a forge, water will be 100% trivialized, because I can put a little bit of sand in there. Turn that sand into pure happiness, aka bottles. Just just bottles, really. Empty jars. Hey, go down. There you go. Good tree. Who's a good widow tree? You are. You're a good tree. Now let's go do our quest. It's no more uh nearby tree things. Tree entities for me to eliminate. Just gotta get these nests. I can't stop myself from getting the nests and the stumps. Okay, I'm easily distracted. What can I say? Tomatoes, tomatoes, tree stump. Is that a yucca inside of a tree? Yes, it is. Steroids and recog. I can sell those, I guess. So I'll do that. Why not? Let's go ahead and take out this cheerleader wandering through the streets. After a nice little frame drop. Hmm. Just for the chance at leather, I think I'm gonna beat this down. And then, actually, can I just peek in through the windows? See any? No? Okay. I'm just gonna activate the quest then. I don't see any leather couches hanging around. What's up, nurse? I mean, nerd. Hmm. Whichever you prefer. A slightly stronger scrap machete. Sure. I'll take it for now. Just gonna slowly get repaired down into level one again. Let's go ahead and help them eliminate these doors. This is teamwork. You and me, lady. Ouch. She hit me through the door. I forgot that they could do that too. Oh man. Just a couple of perk points into the bladed weapons skill make a huge difference. Huge difference. Grab some rotting flesh and anything else that we can see. I spy with my little eye. Something not worth breaking through. I don't want to hit it 250 times. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just being picky. But I do not have the patience for all that. Aloe vera, don't care. Small stone, sure. Wait, what? Why did I pick up both? Did I just? I don't know. Very confusing. That was weird. I picked up the small stone on this table and I got rid of the aloe vera next to it. Let's go ahead and beat up this box and see what's inside of it. Uh-oh, I appear to have alerted the locals. Unlike a clear quest, they don't get highlighted on the map, which is kind of annoying. Well, here's our business. Let's go ahead and just grab the loot and get out of here. Some corn, I can cook that up. Beverage cooler. Beer, I guess I can sell that. Oh, hey, hold on now. Who are you cheerleading for? Is it Mo back here? Oh, this is a shotgun messiah. I see an ammunition box in there too, so I'll have to take a little peek. Free bowl, I guess? I'll take it. Uh -oh. oh, wait, this is unlocked. Neat. Oh, that's that's a whole spider thing. All right, close that door. I'm officially uncomfortable. Whoa, what is she doing? <laughs> that is next level. Holy crap, somebody call an exorcist. And she's gone. On to the next realm. Yeah, I can fairly comfortably do at least one power attack. 
the beginning of each fight. It's a little different than it was before, for sure. I don't want to get this, because it'll take too long, but I will, however, collect from these. Just go ahead and power attack a little bit. Might as well make use of all that stamina that we got kicking around. Although it's going to drain our water faster. <laughs> Four power attacks is enough to completely drain your stamina with this thing. Rough. Wiring tool. Sure. Guess I could sell these wire relays. Gonna get encumbered very quickly. Steel arrowheads, get rid of those. Mod, I can sell it. And then some ammo. Wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. What do we have in here? Oil shale? Don't care. Gas? Whatever. Go and get that when I need it. And I got some repair kits, which isn't bad, I guess. Never hurts. <laughs> More forged steel and building parts. Whenever I need to make something out of steel, I'll be able to do that immediately. Because it seems like forged steel is just being tossed at me. Frequently. Even when I'm not asking for it. Two more boxes to loot. Another stone ass, but it's slightly higher tier, so I'll take it. More steel. What else do we have? Forged iron and wood. Scrap the nails. Alright, now that we're thoroughly over-encumbered, let's check the rest of this place. Simple enough to deal with, now that I put points into the bladed weapons perks. I don't know why, I occasionally get lag spikes when killing the zombies. Not sure how to feel about that. But we'll check the rest of this, and then probably do another quest before the day is up. Yes, this goes so much faster if you power attack. Just that drainage on the stamina that isn't so great. Iron and steel. Twice the fun. Makes me curious, how many skill points do I have now? I also just got another mining level. I have six, okay. That could go very quickly. Like I said, I talked about how fast those could go, and ooh, level 46, stone ass, don't mind if I do, and a shovel, that's a win. I talked about how fast they can go, and then immediately put all my points into tool crafting, so it can be very quick, very quick. Let's go ahead and beat down this last box. I don't know what's in that room next to me, but I doubt it's that important. Probably a safe that I can't get into yet. No? Oh, interesting. Cupboards, flour, rotting flesh, glue, and more coal. I guess. Now let's get out of here. Back home we go. Now that we're 24 items over encumbered. Yeesh. Ooh, mausoleum. This place right here, this little POI is one of my favorites. It's a vanilla one, oddly enough. At least I think it is. I tend to like making my bases in there when I'm not just digging holes in the ground. Bye. Other favorite way to base. I'd like to find more of those snakes that were rolling around on the ground because apparently they give leather, which is... Surprising, to say the least. What do we have over here? In front of this building, free potatoes. See some other stuff too, but I don't need the rest of that. Yucca, that's food. Coffee beans, can use that. Eventually, more yucca. Just free food as we go. I see potatoes. I spy with my little eye. Carrots. Carrots are the hardest ones to find. We're almost there. I look forward to when we have a nice vehicle. Or any vehicle, really. Like a bicycle, even. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and make our way in here. How's it going, you? Oh, wait, what? You just gonna give me an iron pickaxe? Um, thanks, I guess. And this was only a fetch, not a clear. Then again, it's going to be difficult to repair this because it takes repair kits. Can I even craft repair kits? I don't know. But this is clearly the most valuable item here, so I'll take that. Oh, let's see. Buried supplies. That is kind of my specialty, but I'll do it clear. There's basically no point in me ever taking fetch quests because I almost always go into the fetch area and then clear it anyway. Here, take some random crap that I don't want, like recog and steroids. I'll never remember to use them. I know they're valuable, and I know they're good, and I'm sure other people get great uses out of them. But not me. I have the memory of a goldfish. Took a quest, so let's go. How's that sun looking? Actually, I don't know if I should do this while the sun is that low. Yeah, this seems like a genuinely bad idea. What else would I do? Stop by the base, craft. Can I make a forge? No, that would probably take more leather. Forge. I can, and it would take more leather. But I can, I don't know, get that? I could just, you know, I'll rummage to the nearby houses. Because the sun is getting low very quickly. I'm going to rummage to the nearby houses and look for leather couches. I'd like to get a wrench, actually. and That would be really nice. What's up, dude? Just hanging out in the garage, like you do. I could have checked Hugh. I don't know, he might have leather. Got a repair kit, neat. You know what, scrap this arrow and the bow. Not gonna use them. Put the pickaxe on my hotbar. Suppose we'll put the med kits back on there as well. Who? What? What are you complaining about? Cut it out. You've got a cushy desk job. You've got nothing to complain about. Let's go ahead and just beat our way into this POI. Just randomly look around for leather couches. Suppose if I have a pickaxe, then I'll prioritize making a scrap iron uh, fire axe instead. Maybe? We'll see. Well, nobody's angry yet, so let me go ahead and check real quick. Repair kit. Mechanical parts. That 
that's what it is. The mechanical parts and the oil. That's... oh dear. We'll try to use the iron pickaxe that we have sparingly. What's up, big mama? You're gonna have to come over here. That's a crawler, sitting down. It's never comfortable to see. That's your natural position. Crawling on the floor. It's really freaking weird to see them in a sitting position. None of this is what I wanted. Where are your couches? I want your couches. Bag of dried fruit? I guess it's just free food. There's cloth here. Not too worried about that. These are cloth couches. Not the goal. Hopefully that damage didn't take away my wellness, right? Like, these aren't gonna give anything more than cloth. Pretty sure I have the sneaking suspension cloth. Right. Should have known. If I could find some boots, I could scrap those into leather as well, I suppose. Keep that door closed and just work on them one at a time. I can handle this POI, but I can't handle running 400 meters and then a POI in the night time. That's a different story. I'd rather not impose the risk on myself. That's right. Just go back to doing the, like, actually being dead thing. Ooh, a wrench. Wait, a wrench. Hold on. A whole wrench? Don't mind if I do. Let me put that on my hot bar and just start tearing things apart. Screw the pickaxe, and this is where the repair kits are going. Although, this, this is slow. Very slow. I'll have to save this for things that might be able to give leather. Like, actually, let's go tear apart cars. Handful of cars. I believe they can give leather. Where's the way out? Right through here. It might be based on which car you take apart, but cars can give leather. Like this minivan. First we'll get the loot inside, of course. Then sneak and start tearing the thing apart. It seems as though this doesn't take as much stamina as it did in vanilla. I'm not losing it anywhere near as fast. And if I remember correctly, the wrenches are tied to the scavenging skill. I do believe that's how it works. I could check real quick. Yes, my skill in scavenging has increased. So, if you prioritize being something like a mechanic and putting cars together and constantly doing this kind of stuff, you'll actually have an improved loot stage compared to everyone else. Now, did I get leather? No, I didn't. I know you can get it from vehicles. It might just be a little RNG, kind of like engines. Let's tear apart some more stuff. Worst case scenario, I can just sell some of the crap that I don't need to hew and buy some other things that I might need, like repair kits. What's up, dude? You gonna bother me right now? You're a janitor, right? I think your job is over there, that building across the street. It's got nothing to do with me. Still not getting any hide. Leather. Uh, hmm, I'm surprised by this. And confused, because usually I end up getting bulks of leather in such a manner that I don't even want them when I do things like this. Whether I'm playing vanilla or anything else. Maybe it was removed from the loot pool? Maybe I'm just mistaken. Maybe it's only certain cars. Could be. But the sun is getting rather low, so I think we're going to head our way back home. Save the questing for another day. What is this? What kind of vegetable are you? You are tomato. Suppose I could cook that up. You know what, we'll tear apart one more car and see if we get leather, and if not, well, we'll just assume that they don't give it. And if so, we'll assume that it's a Darkness Falls thing, because I don't know why they wouldn't otherwise. So slowly work on tearing this apart. No, actually, let me check my... Yes, we have 10 athletics. Oh no, we need 20. Never mind me. Best to ignore. Let me check parkour. Bars? Let's see. I need athletics 10, so I could, say, fall distance, jump one block from crouching, reduce stamina cost by jumping. I'm going to need at least 20 athletics before I can jump one block higher, so we'll be ignoring athletics for now. Just for now. At some point, it will be valuable. Insanely valuable. Pivotal to our builds, even. If I remember correctly, there are ways in Darkness Falls to almost entirely cancel out fall damage, so you can make some truly ludicrous horde bases. Ah, uh, now I'm out of stamina. There we go. We look here. Am I just missing it? No, there's just no leather. So we're gonna sell some things to Hugh, I guess, like headlights and such, and take a peek at his store, see if he has any leather and the like. I could tear apart these cars to mess with that stuff later. Be nice if he had a little leather couch in here. Oh, he's got a... Wow, look at this thing. Oh, it's fake. I see. That's how it is. Here we have toolbox. Got cloth in it and ammo pile. Why does he have an ammo pile? Bro, chill. It's like one of those straight-up doomsayers. The world is ending. Take these vitamins. Yum yum. Anything else over here? Can I loot these? Any boots, maybe, that I can scrap into leather? I guess not. We'll just okay. check his store, then. Here, have some fort bites. And an engine. I can get these anytime I want. I don't need them right now. Brass radiators. Headlights. Lots of good things. I'm getting XP for this too, which is pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and check in here. Repair kits. No, not happening. And absolutely no leather. Let me check the clothing. Maybe he's got something in here that could... Nope, guess not. Armor. Padded. No leather. Bar stool. 
I don't think I could scrap that for leather either. Too bad. Well, we tried. Oh, I just got another level in athletics. Just nine more to go, and then I can start getting more stamina regen. Anything to put more points into, sexy T-Rex. Hey, how's it going, cowboy? Just having a little lie down? In the weirdest pose possible? Nice. I hope that's fun for you. Let's go ahead and fill up on water for the night. Yuka juice. Wait, I can make yuka juice? Yuka fruit in empty jar. That's all it takes? Really? Interesting. Very interesting. Not gonna do it. There's not much reason to, but it is cool. Let's see. What purpose does meat serve outside of being cooked? None. So, bacon and eggs. We'll cook that up. We got a lot of this stuff strictly for the purpose of... Well, cooking and making use of. We've already got our apple trees. I don't want to overdo it with them. Methinks I'll just cook up the rest of these for now. Let's cook up everything that I have. Everything. Except for the meat. I'll leave the grilled meat like that. I can use it with other things to make better food. Like this. This is 15 food for one thing. Pretty good. Then we'll get the grilled yuca, and that should be the end of it. Cleared out my inventory quite a bit too. Let's get the rest of this coal in there. How's that food doing? I still need a little bit more. Just a little bit. I don't want to just stand around and wait though. I'll go ahead and repair this thing, and I guess I'll just start shoveling out the ground for no reason. Gotta fill your time with something, otherwise it's XP waste. Always be doing something. That's fairly good advice for real life too. Granted, don't run yourself into the ground with that kind of mentality, but if you're always doing something, you'll find yourself never being bored. If you are bored, then you're not really doing anything, are you? Suppose you could argue the other side of the coin too. Boredom is oftentimes the production of the most creative things that people have made. Suppose I'd rather not get into philosophy or anything like that. We'll go ahead and stop there. I think there should probably be enough food after I eat these last two apples. And then we can start digging. Mmm. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Start crawling this way, look around, a little peeky poo, and nothing going on. Good. Let's make our way up into the base. I believe I left my torch in there too. Yes, I did. I can see a little bit of lighting coming from the ground. Go ahead and sneak our way in here. Set up both of the hedges. Take a peek in this chest. How much? Oh, we have way more hide than I thought. 45. Yeesh. Well, what else do we need for our scrap tools? Guess I'll have to make the pickaxe anyway. Can I put another point to the tool crafting in my high enough level? Level 20 is what it wants, and I am level 12. That's not happening. Let's check mining. Got a while to go for that, too. So, since it's part of my quest, I will make a scrap iron pickaxe, and the other one was a fire axe, I believe, but we'll check just in case. Waste not one, not don't want to go making things I don't need. Fire axe, that's what it is. Scrap iron fire axe. Those shouldn't take too long either. There's the pickaxe right there. Let's go ahead and make our way down into the earth in preparation. Now I think I actually want to surround the sides of this in more blocks so that the zombies will be less enticed to dig to me and more enticed to go up to the stairs there. I would really prefer if they just took the pattern that I wanted them to. Oh, well, there we go. That said survivalist 5 out of 5, so I finished all of the survivalist quests. That was the final one, which is great. Oh, that's stairs. Not a normal block. I would like to have normal blocks here. Place. Upgrade. Place. One at a time. There we go. I'll start doing the same thing over on this side. The plan is to make a nice little underground bunker of sorts that will also serve as a pseudo-mine. I'll do the Minecraft-style method of just digging in a straight line. And seeing if I can't just run myself into ore from my home base. I'm sure minimally I can at least come across iron, which is the core. Or is the most valuable that we can come across for most of the game, really. Everything else is fairly secondary. You're probably at a later point in the game if you're going around looking for lead and coal and such anyway. There's that, and now this. I have to potentially even this out. Let's see if I can jump up on this ladder. I don't think I can stealth while on ladders anyway, so I have to come up here to beat down these blocks right here as well. Even it out, make it into a nice little uh, pipe of sorts to goad the zombies into thinking that there's too much health right here and between the earth and them to just dig to me because it's the last thing you want is them digging to you. Things get really uncomfortable and awkward. But that's also why I want to dig out a nice big space. And now I have a pickaxe, which would allow me to go through this stuff much faster. If you look at my stamina, I appear to be capable of swinging endlessly, so I don't have to worry about running out of stamina while just attacking. That's a major plus. Let's go ahead and get some more blocks set up here, and then even it out with the rest. This is... 
our essential base building. And our horde base is probably going to be a sort of ladder base. I think it's going to be maybe too wide, and there's not going to be an enclosure. I'm not doing the push me up method like I had before, where I'm essentially something clogging a drain and the zombies push me up a ladder until it's clean. Instead, I think I'm just going to do ladders to make it so the zombies will be forced into a very direct path for a dart trap, which... I think is a fairly good idea because, well, dart traps are pretty good in this. You can make titanium darts eventually. Someday we'll get to that point, not anytime too soon. That's closer to a end game thing. But titanium darts and titanium blade traps and a bunch of other stuff, there's just, there's some pretty mean things you can do to the zombies. So that's what we'll try to do is set up a base, a horde base around that. I think the first horde base, however, is probably going to have to be fairly standardized. You know, stairs up into a point where I can hit them with a spear or something. Seems like the best bet. At least to me it does. Let's go ahead and even this out. I think I might just make this base into multiple floors. So we would head down the ladder and then we're going to have to have some kind of other light source. Maybe I'll just craft more torches. But the idea is that we would come down here on the ladder and then there would be a door. We would step out on the door and have access to, say, our workbenches. Then we could go down another layer. And on that layer would be the forges, etc., etc. Probably put the forges on top, actually. I tend to fill those kind of things. Actually, no, we don't have to. Darkness Falls is different. It's built different. So we might not actually have to do that. Hmm. Because you don't have to cook things inside of your furnaces with Darkness Falls. You just have to have the resources in your inventory and then you craft them. That's it. That's the whole shebang. Granted, it takes longer to craft things until you get all the proper perks and then it gets to a point where you can craft things much faster than vanilla. King designed it in such a way that it was very rewarding. The more time invested, the better you get at things. All things. This is so much faster than using the stone axe, it's not even vaguely comparable. It was almost painful dealing with that. But now we've got this, and it's great. And I think we're going to use it for this upcoming time lapse. Let's go ahead and move this torch down one. Wow, that's dark. Okay. Get this bowl of water off of my hotbar. What the hell? Place this thing down. Get a nice little ladder here. We'll be using this thing for our time lapse. We'll catch you when the sun comes up. Until then, we continue to dig down. There's always at least one zombie who gets a big head at the end of the night. While I was digging up this nice little bunker of sorts, I decided to take it upon myself to build a forge. So for now, I'm going to put that down here. I won't be using it at the moment because, well, we don't really have the required resources to do anything relevant with it. But we've been making some pretty good progress, though. It's quite a few zombies over here again. Is this another wandering horde moment? I'd really prefer if it wasn't. It can handle a handful of zombies like this. Are you sprinting yet? Yeah, of course you are. One power attack and one light attack seems very doable. Oh, and the sun is officially up. I watched him drop pace <laughs> in short matter. Let's go ahead and take out this rad zombie, I bet. It's gonna have some pretty good XP for us now that it's walking. We can handle it pretty well too. That is quite a mess. I feel like this is going to be a thing where the beginning of every episode involves clearing my area of the horde. But this has been episode 3 of the Darkness Falls series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.